Welcome to Fine Cuisine and Etiquette with your host, Oliver Gerald the Eater, your guide to the finer things in life. And let's see what I got here. Moon pie. What is that? Uh, some kind of nerdy sci-fi virgin vittles? Are we going to zoom around on a spaceship? Green aliens and getting more of our own people killed than Leonidas, Custer, and Ahab put together? No! No! Oh, uh. I've never heard of Moon Pie. Is this new on the market? Quite new. Yes, even perfect individuals like myself sometimes make mistakes. It's as rare as Haley's Comet, but it happens. And apparently, you Americans have been f***ing green aliens for over a century. Moon Pies originated in America's home for blues music, Memphis barbecue, and whiskey. Oh yes! I have a list stash somewhere of all the American products that come reasonably close to the European counterparts. And one of them is Gentleman Jack Whiskey. Tennessee is also home to the Chattanooga Bakery, which has been producing plump Americans since the early 20th century. Their claim to fame is this mismatch of graham biscuits, marshmallow, and chocolate known as Moon Pie. According to legend, a Chattanooga bakery salesman was touring one of the few states that makes Tennessee look cosmopolitan, Kentucky. While there, he came across a peasant coal miner, and after the salesman made sure he was up to date on his rabies shots, and he fetched himself a nose clip, he asked the miner what he'd like to eat. The future candidate for mesothelioma infomercials responded that he wanted a snack as big as the moon. And while I find that story as apocryphal as that one about the virgin female, no doubt a Star Wars fan, who gave birth to just the cutest little son of God, while I find them equally implausible, it's a good story. For an area of America where the average canine is more educated than the average person, and the two graham biscuits, marshmallow filling, and chocolate coated bundle of sugar and carbs produced fat little children throughout the Great Depression, World War II, and all the way through the present. In the post war period, the Chattanooga Bakery went through a massive expansion, and as a result, moon pies proved especially popular with the same morons who'd go weeks without bathing at lavish displays of crunchy music and body odor like Woodstock. And while that alone should make me rate this lower than the American education system, I'll give it a try. For a treat that's popular with southern colonists and boomers, this could be a lot worse. I can definitely see why this is especially popular with a people sporting bigger waistlines than Benny Hill and Fatty Arbuckle. Because this moon pie is loaded with flavor and a surplus of sugar and saturated fat. If the Americans below the Mason-Dixon line had an official food, it'd be diabetes. As for your cultural and intellectual superior, this is a bit more crumbly than I'd prefer, but it has a tasty chocolate shell, and the robust marshmallow flavor pairs well with the graham biscuits. I could think of much worse ways to clog my arteries. So I rate the moon pie four silver spoons out of five. Please remember to show your appreciation for my efforts with a like. And I shall return to educate the great unwashed masses and all those of good letters and breeding on the finer things in life and delightful cuisine.